Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just had an epiphany, sort of. This is Thursday, May 27th, and it's 2.01. All right. Here's the deal. I was sitting here talking to the Lord, saying, you know, I'm going to this art class. The lady who's paying for all the art supplies and a teacher to teach us. Okay. She got me in last yesterday morning. Because you see, we're friends. She's a caregiver. And she was caring for my former neighbor on a floor I used to live on. And after I'd bring my dog in, I'd go by and I would go in there to see my former neighbor and she would be there so we became friends and then she started taking care of my other former neighbor down the hall across from me and then the next door neighbor next to me in between the first one and me <laughs> I know that's complicated but anyhow we were friends and she's a good Christian woman, and we would talk about the Lord and stuff. Okay, so this art class comes up somehow. I don't know how, who suggested it. I think this woman did to get her clients an activity. And she had to pay for it, and so be it. And she said, you're coming to the, the class tomorrow, right? And I said... No, I just found out about it yesterday, and I didn't know anything about it, and nobody asked me, so my name didn't make the list. She said, well, I'm putting your name on the list. I'm going to get with my girls <laughs> and put you on the list. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here talking to the Lord, and I'm like, Lord, how are we supposed to treat these people who um, are no longer yours? Christians of some denomination or another, but no longer. I said, <laughs> you're going to laugh. In my mind, I was thinking, you were pretty snotty to the Pharisees. <laughs> I didn't say it, you know, but I said, oh, I might as well say it because you read my thoughts. <laughs> You were pretty snotty to the Pharisees, you know, and I thought, that's not like you. You teach us love, grace, mercy, you know, have love and forgive, you know. We must love our neighbor as ourself. So what, why didn't you try harder? Why, I mean... <laughs> What way I talk to the Lord is just what comes to my mind. I just talk to him, you know, and I'm saying, why didn't you try, you know, why were you like that, you know, calling them, uh, oh, you vipers, or what you said. Um, now, this is exactly what I said. Oh, you, you whitewashed tombs, you brood of vipers, and then it hit me vipers he called them vipers you know what vipers are they're snakes what are snakes they're reptilians what were the nephilim what are the aliens aliens that are underground working now with our government Gee, I hope I can say that on YouTube. Okay, it's a conspiracy theory. I can't prove it. But that's what I've heard. Okay, let's just put it that way. They're part reptilian. I know a lot of you have seen those videos where some of those reporters and the men in black, the men who took care of... Barack Obama had the slits in their eyes. 
snakes have those. So it hit me. Those men, at least in that day, were part reptilian. Or half Nephilim, part Nephilim. What part, I don't know. It didn't matter to him. They hated him. They did not want anybody calling him king. They did not want that competition, even though they weren't the king. Pontius Pilate was over them. And he, he was like, I want to see this guy. Bring him to me, you know. He wanted him to do some miracle for him. Or maybe it was Caesar Augustus. Caesar, Pontius Pilate. They were the two at the top. They really didn't want to have anything with putting him to death, if you'll remember. They were just Romans. Roman brought up, Roman bred. <laughs> Romans. But those scribes and Pharisees and Sadducees religious not all of them many of them they stirred up the crowd and said tell him you want him crucified they wanted him killed because I'm sure Satan was telling them. You have them say, crucify him, crucify him. And it made me realize, not like I'm going to be mean, but I don't have to be like when before. Worrying about this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I don't know if that helped anybody. I, I, I don't want to suggest for a moment that we become like them. You just don't have to go out of your way like you might have before. Do you get my drift to provide be extra nice and I uh, I am anyway that's me and I'm not in on off chance there's a stranger who has not been changed in any way who has not decided to throw caution to the wind I'm not going to ever act in an unchristian like manner I will always behave. You still go by the word. But just follow the way Jesus was. <laughs> I don't know how that would go over. <laughs> Maybe I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> anyway, I just, I wanted to um, share that. In case anybody else was wondering, why did he, why was he so hard on the, the religious leaders? Maybe you have a religious spirit. 
See, I used to think that was the problem. They had a religious spirit, a demon that needed cast out. Excuse me. Well, that shouldn't have happened. I'm, I'm using you, by the way. Anyway. Um, but I think he just showed me. You brood of vipers. He wasn't in the habit of going around calling people names. Falsely. You whitewashed tombs. You were clean on the outside, but you were filthy on the inside. You are of your father, the devil. Remember that one? Yeah. That's the truth. Well, I'll hush for now. Finish my coffee and get ready for my class. Okay. I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.